first I want to show you I'm running Mac OS S High Sierra the newest version 10.13.6 MacBook Pro 13 inch it's a 2016 model so it was one of the first new 13 inches to come out so it's not that new it's almost two years old 3.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7 16 gigs of RAM so that's what the machine I'm running this on is contains I've got my um, my little set to folders but let's bring it up to all photos now I'm gonna go up to the the search tool I'm gonna click on search as opposed to filter I'm going to type in the word bear. I'm going to hit the return key and you'll be able to hear this. Here we go. 1001, 1002. Two seconds to find bear out of 1,100,104 pictures. Let's do another one. Let's do bird. Return. 1001, 1002. That's how quickly I found the birds in my file. Let's type in dog. D or G. Get ready to hit return. 1001. 1001. It took less than a second to, to filter or to search 1,100,104 images in this catalog. So this is the speed of my reel. And then if I want to work on these images, I simply let's go let's go back to folders, something that I've worked on recently to make sure I have the originals on this computer. So if I go to the Pantanal of Brazil where I just came from and want to work on a particular image, let's say let's bring this this macaw up. I go select the image here, go up to photo, open with. Now here's all the different programs that I have that I've been working with or testing. I haven't done much with Affinity Photo, or the trial version. Capture 111, I'm still trialing that. I've got a few days left. The one I usually use is Photo Lab, uh, DxO Photo Lab. But we've got Luminar um, and then some of these other programs that I've had over the years. But the one I typically use is Photo Lab. Photo, DxO Photo Lab, and all you do is click on DxO Photo Lab. It, this is how it works in bringing it over to DxO Photo Lab. The other thing that I love about DxO is then I click on, let's say we work on this image. Let's give it a little bit of a crop so we can obviously see the difference. Let's crop it right into this hyacinth macaw. Maybe change my exposure a little bit. All right. Now let's take and we're going to export this to disk. Up comes a number of different options here. The one that I have is from my stock agency's 5100 um, on the on the long side TIFFs. But the thing that I love, really appreciate, I should say, is that DxO gives you the option to save this image in the original image folder. And when we do that, my video will pick it up right away. So I want to make sure, I want to make sure that, um, yeah, we're on noise tool on HQ. So we're gonna save this to the original folder. I'm gonna export it. Here's your little icon showing the export taking place. We're gonna go back over to Mylio, and we're gonna sit here and wait for this thing to process the entire image export to disk is finished and there's the there's the new the new image that we just created through DxO so the beauty of this system with DxO and uh, capture one does not offer this luminar does not offer this is the fact that it drops the image right in next to the original and I don't have to wonder where this original TIFF is now. So that's how that's how Bilio works with either DxO or Capture One or any other program.